class act on the wrong guy. <laughs> All right, it's time for the women's fight. We'll talk more about some of the fights we've already There's seen about right to now. be a girl we fight. Gina Carano out of Pittsburgh, Las Vegas. She's a great stand-up fighter. Uh, this is her MMA debut. She's a Muay Thai fighter primarily, 12-1-1. You see them talking. Kid Coke is helping her out of the sweatshirt. They are talking with referee Steve Laval. He will give her her instructions. What do we know about Gina Carano? Devastating striker. Nasty, nasty stand-up game. Don't know a whole lot about her ground game, but hey. It was Kid Coke, really well rounded fighter. Folks, we are making history here. This is MMA history. There's never, ever been a female fighter that's been sanctioned in MMA in the state of Nevada. This is a first. And here's her competition. She is going to be facing off against none other than Leticia Pastova. Leticia Pastova, great on the ground. You've been rolling with her. What do we know about Leticia? Tough girl. Great job, get the ground game. Uh, I'm going to need a little light for this fight, you know. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, we going to be classic striker against the grappler again. Leticia Stova, 11 and 2. She's 22 years old. She trains out of American Martial Arts Center. And of course, Patrick Asalone training her Patrick Asalone system. Let's meet the women fighters, Tony Metcalf. Our sixth fight of the night is in the women's flyweight division. This fight is sponsored by the Olympic Gardens, which is also where the after party will be held tonight. You will get free admission to the Olympic Gardens with your ticket stub. Introducing the fighter in the red corner. She stands five feet, eight inches tall and weighed in at 135 pounds. This is her pro debut, but she has a Muay Thai record of 12 wins one loss and one draw. She is also representing the legendary Kit Cope and Team Cope. Ladies and gentlemen, from Las Vegas, Nevada, give it up for Gina Conviction Carano! Gina Carano trained locally. Her opponent tonight, fight. fighting out of the blue corner, stands five feet, six inches tall, and also weighed in at 135 pounds. She has a record of 11 wins and two losses. She is fighting out of Fitness Works, representing Mesa, Arizona. Give it up for Leticia Trinity Pesto. has a tough family background. Give us a little background on that. Father passed away, uncle passed away, brother passed away. Brings a lot of, lot of people in the ring with her. Tough, tough girl. Been through a lot of things in her life. She belongs in the sport, as does, uh, as does Gina. She's very good on the ground. Good submissions, arm bars, rear naked, choke. You've taught her uh, quite a bit on the ground. Uh, you've been a former world champion and uh, good on her feet. What are, what are her feet skills? She, she's better than average. I mean, she can hold her own standing up, but I think her strength is definitely her ground game. I mean, you don't want to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Gina. Gina's a tough striker. So she's going to try to take her off, her, off uh, take Gina off her feet. Is that the strategy for Pistova? You know, one would assume that is the game plan. Gina's going to want to keep it up, but Gina does have a decided weight advantage. Carano versus Pestova. Carano in the green trunks, Pestova in the black. Big overhand right attempt by Carano. Pestova needs to relax, slow down, get her hands up. Big takedown attempt, great sprawl by Gina. Oh, Gina with the side control and full mount. Pestova could be in trouble early on. She's gonna go for an arm. Big Pestova. elbows. Pestova, no. Nazagati needs. That's it. That's it. Yeah. 38 seconds of the first round. Listen to the crowd. 
Listen to the crowd. Gina Carano in her MMA debut took just 38 seconds to beat Letitia Pistova. And the place is going crazy. Crazy. Kit Cope trained Gina Carano. 38 seconds of the first round. Here's the replay. Talk us through this one, Patrick. Letitia going for the takedown. Great, great takedown defense. Stuck Letitia's shot. Went for the full mount, and that's where that decided weight advantage came in. She was a good few pounds heavier than Leticia. Opened up, and that was it. Not a whole lot you can do from this position. Great elbow strikes. Looks like Pastova's hurt. She's having her wrist attended to. Gina Carana has come over to uh, offer her condolences and show good sportsmanship. And it looks like it's the uh, right elbow of Pestova that got hurt in the exchange. At one point, Carano had attempted an arm bar uh, on her and had thought better of it and started going to the strikes. And I think that's when Pestova got hurt. It could have very well been in the transition. A lot of things can happen in the scramble. Yeah, that, they were both so quick, you couldn't really tell what was going on at a couple stages in that fight. You're taking a good look at Gina Carano. She is thrilled to win her first MMA fight in front of the hometown fans here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Oh my goodness, she looked very sharp. I'd like to see Gina go Referee up Steve a, uh, Mazzagotti stopped the fight Jennifer Howe. at 39 Definitely seconds of round class. one. I mean, hey, For your winner in. from she Las Vegas, weight. Nevada. Give it up for Gina Conviction Absolutely. Carano. Wonderful, wonderful.